Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, just want to side note and let you guys know the reason why we pulled out cards is because they decided to come out. When shuffling the deck, they were already popping out, so I felt very strongly the pull towards them, so we're going to keep them. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of September. Um for 2020 in regards to love and romance all righty all right gemini's so you may be dealing with a sagittarius for others of you you may be dealing with the taurus now this can also be the energies um that you're currently being influenced by now i want to say with sagittarius i feel that the energy uh this fire energy you may be experiencing like a lot of restlessness there may be feeling of overwhelmingness, like a lot of things going on in the home. Uh, this could be your family life, or this can also represent uh, the person or pers uh, partner or person of your interest where you feel very disconnected. There's like a need. There is a need to want to uh, escape. Now, this could be like taking short road trips. This could be wanting to travel. This could be just having the need to pull away from your everyday routine. Um, and this could be uh, kind of uh, being resistant is what I'm seeing. Because for some of you guys, those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, you could be speaking about traveling or wanting to take a road trip or something like that. And the partner may be more uh, worried or concerned about finances, about the assets, about how much it's going to cost to take this trip that type of energy because i do have taurus energy and taurus is very earthly energy with the second house which is assets so again there may be a feeling of like no we need to save up money but like i said i see you very very restless gemini it's like you you to you traveling or taking a short trip now for some of you guys this could be traveling like going to a different country but for others of you this could just represent wanting to take like a short trip a road trip anything like that um, but I feel that there is a need for that because you, there is like this, a lot of restlessness on your everyday routine life that you want to extract yourself from that situation to be able to recharge your batteries is what they're saying. So again, there may be a lot of restlessness going on there. Um, for others of you, I feel that there is, there has been this major transformation for you guys in regards to assets or in regards to what you're wanting to do or what you're wanting to um what you would consider become financially secure and i see you guys really putting the effort really doing what you have to do to make that happen now with the taurus you have to be stubborn about it so what i mean by that is in regards to making things happen oftentimes it won't happen immediately or off the bat but it doesn't mean it's not going to happen you just have to stick with it so what they're telling me here is that a lot of determination needs to be uh, your primary goal for now all the way to the end of this month. Now, you also do have the North Node here, which speaks to me about destiny and transformation. So for some of you guys, it could be uh, getting to the point of unifying, meaning taking it to the next level in regards to relationships. Uh, the North Node always speaks to us about destiny, about fulfillment and purpose. Uh, with Pluto being present, this is transformative type of energies and the second house assets, but it also speaks about partnerships, about union or duality. So coming together, bringing together. So this could be uh, physically committing, or this can also represent like making or putting a setting a, de a date for marriage. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, I do see you meeting a person. And again, I see this person, this could be a person that is not from the same country you're from. Uh, this could be a foreigner. This can also represent that you meet the person while you're taking a trip or some type of vacation, some type of, um, some type of while you're traveling type of energy is what they're saying. And this is predestined already. So what, what I mean by that is the connection is going to be very, very strong. It's not something that you're going to be able to ignore. Now, 
keep in mind with transformation, Pluto energy and Taurus, there is a need for you to be um, more grounded in the decisions you make. So what they're showing me here, because you do have the second house, for those of you guys that are currently committed or currently married, be careful, especially if you're traveling because of work or anything like that, you may be tempted um, to connect with someone or to be tempted to step out of your marriage uh, because Pluto speaks about transformation and North Node usually uh, could be a little bit chaotic only because, again, it speaks to us about purpose, um, the North Star basically, and it comes with major transformation. So again, be careful with that, okay? Now I'm going to be pulling out three energy cards. You have voice, take flight. You see, here we go. <clears throat> I see you guys traveling. So with the voice energy, what they're saying is speak out loud what it is that you want to express. Don't hold back. I feel that there is restriction. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of restlessness. And I feel that this restlessness could be from uh, your everyday routine life. For others of you, it could be restlessness, like feeling like you're walking on eggshells or not being too not being able to communicate the way you would want to communicate with your partner. But what they're saying here is uh, voice, which means speak up. Okay, don't don't hold back because you feel like, which I'm sure I don't need to tell this to Gemini's. <laughs> don't speak up. Don't feel like you have to be restricted. I know that that's not a trait that Gemini is known for. But I know that when you guys are 100% committed into partnerships, sometimes uh, unfortunately, we try to morph ourselves into what we think is best for our partner. So again, speak your truth, be honest with yourself, take flight. Uh, this could represent, again, for some of you guys, travel is in the foreseeable future. Uh, sometime uh, from now all the way to the end of September, there's going to be some type of trip or some type of decision making. For some of you guys, it may not be a trip um, in this month, but it could be uh, making plans to take a trip. Now, you also have intuition here. Pay very close in attention to your intuition, Gemini. Uh, the purple is standing out like very strongly to me. I'm um, not sure if you guys can see. It's like a, um, it's like a, uh, a purple bluish color. Um, it's more of like a, I'm seeing it very purple, you guys. So um, what they're saying here is pay close attention to your intuition. Um, if there is a major transformation that's happening in regards to your relationship, um, and you've just having, you've been having this gut feeling, pay attention to that. Um, as an example, if you're heading to work and all of a sudden you feel like, uh, I don't know, something is off. I think I need to go back, uh, listen to that intuition and prepare yourself because there is transformation here. Um, so for some of you guys, I know it can come off very differently for some, it could be that, um, you know, whatever it is that you've been thinking about, uh, you're finally able to see it and to say to yourself, well, I wasn't crazy. Um, they were, you know, perhaps hiding something. Um, now for others of you, it could just represent, listen to your intuition in regards to if you are planning to take, uh, some type of trip or anything like that, or even if it was already planned and there was delays, don't try to rush into it, okay? Perfect timing is very important. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.